And today we're going to be uh, today we're going to be working on a 2008 Toyota. It's a Highlander. Uh, what we're going to be changing now is we're going to be changing the uh, the cabin filter, which is located inside the glove compartment. Um, a pretty good indication that you need a, uh, a cabin filter is that you'll have like a, a foul odor, uh, like a, a, a damp, or musty smell inside there, or you may even smell like a burning smell, depending on uh, on how clogged up the, the filter is. Um, and normally, the way we can tell is I'm going to show you underneath the hood how you can how I usually can tell if a, if a cabin filter is clogged up without even taking it out. So uh, let me bring it under the hood and I'm going to show you what I uh, what I see. Right, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to take a look underneath here, and if you see a lot of debris down inside here. And a lot of times what happens is these leaves will start to break down. And when the leaves break down and they uh, fall down inside here, they wind up inside the filter in the dashboard. So uh, let's go inside the truck, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it step by step. Fairly easy. So uh, let's give it a shot. Okay, we're going to go inside the truck now. Where the cabin filter is located is down inside by the glove box area right here. So if you open up the glove box... And then what we're going to do is we're going to come underneath here, and we're going to remove um, we're going to remove this. Well, it looks like it's broken off already. We're going to remove this. Normally, what you would do is this one here. Somebody broke it already. What you would normally do is you would just take this piece and you would pull it off of the uh, glove compartment door, um, which then this piece would stay in there, but it's broken off inside there. But um, this would normally be inside. But you take it off of the uh, the door right here. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come inside to the glove compartment here, and we're going to squeeze the glove box this way here to uh, to allow this piece right here to pass by right here. So uh, let me just put you down here, and uh, we're going to get started on that. You just take the glove compartment, and you push it towards the center on both sides and it comes down like that and then what you'll see is inside here there's a little door inside here what you do is you open that little door up and there's a little cover right here and little tabs on the end right here you push the tabs in like this and you push this tab here. Also in. And you take that cover totally out. Now obviously you know you can't make a mistake because it says on here up and it faces uh, straight up in the air. So just take that and move it off to the side for now. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go inside and we're going to take that filter out of the housing right here. And you just grab it. And you pull it, you pull it out. And take it out. And what we're going to do is now, I'm just going to close this for one second just so I can show you. Okay. As you can see, there's a lot of debris that's inside the... Uh, the cabin filter itself. Uh, this all restricts the flow of air and it causes a little bit of a uh, uh, lack of air circulation in the vehicle. So let's grab the new one and we're going to put it back in. Now remember these are directional. You'll have an arrow facing down and that's the way that the air flow is going to go. So uh, let's get the new one and we'll throw it in there and we'll wrap this job up. Okay, this is the new filter that we're going to be putting in. And remember we talked about that arrow there. You want to face this the same direction when you put the new uh, the new filter in, right? The airflow is going to face this way. So let's uh, take this filter and we're going to put it back inside the uh, the car itself. All right. Next thing we're going to do then is we're just going to reinstall it where it came out. All right. Then what we're going to do is you're going to just push these two ends back in. And it pulls right down. Okay, and then we're going to take this filter. You're going to lift this piece up right here. Okay. 
and then we're going to make sure we have the arrow facing the direction that it's supposed to be facing. Right here, you can see it. And then we're going to lift this up and slide it in. Slide it all the way to the back as far as it can go. Then you take your cover. And remember, the cover says only one direction. It says up right on it, so that's the way it goes. And you push it back into the, uh, to the slot where it lines up, and you'll hear it snap in. That's it. And then you push this piece down, lock it back into position where it belongs. And then we just take the glove box door, push it back up. And remember, this piece here was broken off. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it back up there the way that it was actually in here. Because um, somebody previously broke it off. I'm just going to put it back on, snap it in place the way it was. All right. And then just snap it closed. And you're all done. All right, not too bad when you know what you're doing. Any questions, any comments, any advice you need, just drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to help you out. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.